As a country rich with ethnicity and culture, Indonesia has many different kind of amazing culinaries from Sabang to Merauke. Mie Aceh from Aceh, Tendang from West Sumatra, Tendak from Bengkulu, Sayur Ares from Nusa Tenggara Barat, and so many more such as Gulai, Pempek, Soto, Gude, and all the other that can make you craving just by mentioning their names. So, what are the secret recipes behind those amazing dishes? Yes, spices. As the Southeast Asia country located strategically and geographically, Indonesia is rich with spice diversity and has attracted many international investors. With pepper, clove, cinnamon, vanilla, and pala as the top 5 most exported spices from Indonesia, the value of spices export hits $218.69 million in period of January-April 2020. So why you should see an opportunity in this sector? Watch the video until the end. Indonesia is rich with natural resources, especially spices, which have been known worldwide. During the period of 5 years from 2012 to 2016, Indonesia has played a role of supply about 14% of the world's spice. And in January to April in 2020, there was an increase of spices export value by 19.28% compared to the previous period. In 2019, Indonesia itself exported about 318,140.3 tons of spices to many big countries, including the United States of America, China, Singapore, and many other countries which show that the demand in the sector never goes down. Obtaining the title as Asian for the largest spices producer, Indonesian spices are renowned for its unique flavor and good quality that caught the eyes of the investors. Careful steps are highly utilized in processing the spices to ensure the best quality to be marketed. Each row spice is selected and categorized, which in the next step will be cleaned. Later on, it will be processed based on the needs of the market using the determined technology. As the economy of Indonesia grows, the government starts to strategize the development of human resources through the improvement of the education system and aiming to bring the better state of innovation in the country. This will unlock the potential of Indonesia in terms of spaces processing technology in the future. So, what makes Indonesia different then? Well, Indonesia is committed to supporting the local firms in the country. As a further step, Indonesian government launched the Indonesia Spice of the World program, which aims to introduce Indonesian culinary and spices around the world. Through the collaboration with the business service sector, the government will support the globalization of the SMS in order to unlock profitable potential. One example of profit potential is when the foreign investors start collaborating with the Indonesia local business, starting with the cultivation of spices, production of spices, and even the production of Indonesia cuisine itself. Foreign investors will reap several benefits if they collaborate with Indonesia local investors and business, not only by investing in the form of spices, but also by investing in location known for big spice producer and culinary delight famous for their deliciousness become one of the advantage that foreign investors get. There are several ways for foreign investors and Indonesia local businesses to collaborate in order to promote spices and culinary pleasures into the Indonesia and international market, one of which is FDI or foreign direct investment. When an investor in the scope of a country's economy takes an interest in the company in the scope of Indonesia economy. Given the political desire and increasing domestic production, FDI should be considered as another way in which economic openness can improve the affordability and quality of spices. FDI can also help in improving Indonesia's horticulture sector and increase access to high-quality food for Indonesia in line with the government's efforts to gain investment. Policy delegation was carried out with the aim of making the horticulture sector more attractive to investors. Of number 11, year 2020, stated regarding omnibus law that set wider deregulation of the horticulture sector. One of the significant changes in this law is the abolition of the 30% limit on foreign ownership in horticultural businesses, which has the potential to make investment in the sector become more attractive. To sum up everything that has been stated before, Indonesia Spice Up the World campaign will surely offer very great opportunities and we are really delighted to ask investors to invest in Indonesia Spices. So, let's grow together in this sector and let's Indonesia! 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 
Space Hi, 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 H